Well, Ben, for any of us who've been in rush hour gridlock traffic, even a short gondola ride would be like a joy ride. There's a lot of talk of 2,000 new jobs moving into Boston, and that gondola, well, it's being studied. But for commuters, that's a dream idea. Here's the deal. In the works, Amazon could bring 2,000 new technology jobs to the seaport's bustling waterfront. The city is reviewing these renderings. Negotiations underway for Amazon to lease a building in an area called Seaport Square off of Congress Street. If approved, uh, will be another 2,000 jobs coming to our city. So we're excited about it. It's been, we've been talking with them for a while about it. Uh, and with, with the developer, I should say. Uh, so it is exciting. The opportunity for 2,000 Amazon jobs in everything from iCloud computing to voice activated systems is a separate deal from the big push for Boston to become the second Amazon headquarters. I think it's, it's great for Boston. Yeah. I just, you know, hope that there's not too much traffic. The city is entertaining another new idea to handle traffic woes overhead gondolas to transport people from the South Station area past the convention center all the way to the industrial park. You know, if there's an opportunity to get buses and cars off the street and get people in the air, it might free up space on the street. So, I mean, I think everything is on the table. When there's a big conference going on around here, you can't even cross the street walking, never mind driving. So. If, if Amazon gets approved and it's all said and done, and it's, you know, it's heading that way, uh, we're talking, I think 4,000 jobs have been added in the waterfront in the last four months. And many of those jobs are going to come with some infrastructure perks, courtesy of Amazon. No definite date at this point for Amazon's coveted second headquarters. Live in the Seaport District, Rondella Richardson, WCVB News Center 5. All right.